Hey VC, how's it spinning? Um, okay, I, not that I want to harp on the subject again, but I'm, I'm gonna have to. This video, uh, I'm giving it a title, title of Vinyl Re. I you don't usually see that from me because I'll just give it a generic title, but that's the title of this one, and the meaning behind it is it's like irony, but with vinyl, and that's because of the because of the question comment I received, and then subsequent video answer about disturbed. And I'm not going to get all screaming and everything, so nobody has to worry. Uh, you know, this is going to be even, even keel and everything, so, you know, nobody has to worry. It's not, it's not going to get weird. It's just that, you know, thing that came out of that was that people seem to not been able to pick up on the fact that that was an old video that was reposted from another channel, hence repost in the title. And because that video was originally shot and posted before the big four in Indio at Coachella. So that was before that was before April of 2011. So that was old and that um not gonna get into it, but that was that was before they you know the or the question by that by that one viewer didn't have it wasn't even relevant because what I'm about to show didn't even exist um, as a physical item. Um, anyhow, uh, but that's that's the explanation and that's the explanation for the title. Now um, we can go forward as um, as usual and. This is now, you know, the the, the uh, final update type stuff. Okay, and the vinyl re is this. To whet everybody's appetite, we have a disturbed seven inch. Uh, my second seven inch by the group. Um, a UK pressing limited to a thousand on what they're calling flame colored or orange vinyl. Uh, not a bad way to spend five bucks. Um, that's all I paid for. It. And I was actually surprised that I actually know what that was. That's, that was really nice. And again, you know, after all the discussion about not liking Disturbed and blah 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 why are you getting more Disturbed? Why are you buying Disturbed? Why aren't you smashing them or trying to sell them, offload them, you know throw them over uh, the nurse freeway, which, which yeah, throw them off an I-10 overpass <laughs> um, well one, I could never do that, I, I would never even do that to uh, the Barry Manilow in my collection, yes I do have Barry Manilow um, don't ask me how or why, um, but I've got a, a whole section of, there's a whole section on the bottom shelves of, of, of one of my shelves that I've got, you know, a bunch of stuff. There's Donna Summer in there, there's Isaac Hayes in there, there's, um, the Commodores, Cindy Lauper's in there, Madonna's in there. There's a Twilight Paris in there, if you know who she is. There's all, all, all kind of weirdness going on. But anyway, back to uh, what we're talking about. This one right here. Um, at the risk of confusing everybody even further, <laughs> here comes the fun part. Um, uh, this will be, yeah, this is an interesting story here. Check this out. The record store day release of the collection. 
front there. Here's a look at the back. And I'll pull this out. Yeah. Um picked up the uh picked this up actually again. Most in the VC and probably Rex will get mad at me for this, but I will admit it. Um, wasn't able to go to record store today because the nearest participating record store and the nearest record store to my house, as I've explained before, is 150 miles. Let's see, where the let's see, never eat. Let's see, we're on the north side, so I'd be that away. So yeah, where are my fingers pointing? Go this way. After where my fingers pointing, drive for 150 miles. You get to Phoenix, and that those are the nearest ones. So I went and picked this up on eBay, um, and it's going anywhere from. Uh, I've actually only seen one of these where it didn't have a starting bid of less than 129 um, going anywhere for, to 189 which is like absolutely ridiculous because I mean you get there's five albums six LPs that's the going the going price but it's like I paid as a pre-order through Slayer's website I paid one thirty ten dollar shipping, so one forty in total for ten albums on eleven LPs. It's like that's absolutely ridiculous uh, with the pricing point. And I know that now that everything uh, prices for record store day and all this kind of stuff are absolutely through the roof. I mean, you know, everybody everybody understands that. Um, and I've actually, you know, I picked up. Record store to pieces, old pieces, you know, like a couple years later that we're still hanging on, because um, I've never been able to actually go to one, um, for the for the reasons I've already mentioned. Never been really in a position to one, so I've had to go through the, the few pieces that I actually have any interest in. Uh, this and the one uh, Slayer seven inch. Uh, like a, a couple of years ago, I had to order, and that was a long story. Don't get me started. But I've had very, in short, I've had bad luck with Record Store Day. So I'm not really, uh, and not because of the crowd or anything like that. Uh, it, it just, I've had some weird shit um, that's happened. So I kind of just want to stay a, away from that because it's just, yeah, not, not, not very, not very good. Um, But yeah, um, I picked this up. Didn't pay a uh, regular price and everything. Um, looking through it was pretty cool because it actually I do have the tenth anniversary of the sickness on the picture disc. But this actually one of the reasons why I picked this up was because I wanted a complete set of everything, which I had. Mo I had most everything. Um, that I collected before I really got out of this band because I, at one point I did like them. They are one of the bands that got me into metal, so they, I do have to give them credit for that. Um, but as I've already explained, I, they've fallen out of favor with me. Um, but I did want this for no other reason than to have my first legitimate copy of Believe. Because the only copy that I had of that album was a badly overused, scratched CDR version that a friend had given me years ago, uh, back in high school. And I was never able to replace it because Walmart doesn't like to sell albums labeled parental advisory, at least at the Walmart that I was near. You know, when I was looking for it, um, you know, back probably probably ten years ago now. Well, not quite, maybe nine years ago when I, um, and and at that point I really couldn't do eBay or 
uh, Amazon couldn't do anything like that. So that was the only avenue that I had because I didn't want an edited album. Um, so that that's that's really nice. So I finally got that. Um, again, like I've done with the uh, okay, I got five minutes or so because apparently um, they're going around here. Apparently, people are having issues with Google screwing around with their accounts and they're they're disabling the longer than 15 minutes. Um, I don't know if that's happened to me yet, but I've tried to keep everything under um, 15 minutes for the most part and been really successful. But anyway, as I did with the Viron Conflict, then I'll have to, yeah, um, I'll go through this. Um, everybody knows what the albums are. Interesting to note, though, that, well, for one, I wasn't, it says here that, um, 10,000 Fists, never been, uh, the first time that, that uh, 10,000 Fists is available on vinyl, so I guess that means that uh, Believe, which I didn't know, has had a vinyl release before. I did not know that, um, so I learned something. But um, going through this, um, 10,000 Fists is the, is the double album. It's interesting because I've got the vinyl edition, the regular vinyl edition of Indestructible, you can, if you're interested in it, which I doubt, because most of you probably are not, um, but if anybody's interested in it, they can go back and watch the uh, Disturbed post, because I won't do it here, but the regular edition is actually a double, so apparently this edition is not, because it, it is a the original uh, uh, version of Indestructible Vinyl was a uh, double LP with an etching on side four. Um, so it's interesting what they do here. Uh, but uh, yeah, so anyway, um, there you go. This is the um, update, uh, vinyl update number 19, I think it is now we're up to. Um, not including uh, any reposts that I will eventually do, and um, yeah, so there you go. Um, feel f feel free to rip um, the fact that I did record store day purchases on the internet um, for a lot less money, actually. So there's two reasons to hate me for this. <laughs> no, I'm I'm kidding. Um, no, nah, it's it's whatever. Uh, but, no, but nothing, and as we all know this, nothing beats going through stacks at a, at a record store. All right, and I will see you guys later.